Uh, hi, my name is Neelam Walia, and I'm working as an assistant professor at the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at the Rosalind Franklin Institute. And recently, I started working on the uh, on the inflammatory breast cancer, especially the inflammation part and the tumor microenvironment. And I was lucky to have a graduate student in my lab. She did a lot of work on deciphering the role of various uh, proteins secreted in the microenvironment of the inflammatory breast cancer cells. And her name is Sudeshna Goswami. She published a lot. And we have uh, two manuscripts in Ongo Target. And we have also a review article in Ongo Target. And she's going to summarize her findings in the work that she did. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sudeshna Goswami and I've worked on uh, breast cancer, inflammatory and invasive, two different kinds of breast cancer and the protein that I'm interested in is osteoprotegrin that we talk about in the review article. And uh, when I started working uh, on breast cancer, I found that this protein gets secreted in very high amounts in the secretion, the tumor microenvironment of such breast cancer, whereas you see no detectable levels in the control primary epithelial cell, which is a non normal mammary cell. And that got us very in interested because back in 1889, as Stephen Page had said, tumor microenvironment and cancer is like the seed and the soil. And there is a very close relation. So, and because with a lot of PubMed search, we figured out that much hasn't been talked about this protein, you know, apart from the fact that it induced angiogenesis and that secretion is correlated with very aggressive behavior in different forms of cancer, not just breast cancer. We wanted to delve deeper and that's how we started. I started working on this protein, figured a lot of different uh, functional activities. Apart from confirming the fact that it does induce angiogenesis, we figured out that it induces a lot of paracrine activities of this protein, let me tell you. So we found that this protein has the capacity to induce high proliferation in normal mammary epithelial cell, you know, in a, in, a, in a sphere culture, which is a 3D culture, which is mimicking the in vivo tumor a lot. You take the complexity a notch higher with the 3D culture. And apart from increasing proliferation, we do see cell cycle aberration. Very interesting finding is the onset of aneuploidy and upregulation of the CD24 marker, CD24, and downregulation not that much change in CD44 cell surface receptors. And uh, to correlate with the an onset of aneuploidy, which has never been talked about before, we also show that this is because the change or aberration in the copy number variants that is induced when you culture the normal cells just in presence of this recombinant protein. And we, cor we kind of extrapolated and we found that this is the scenario is very much similar to what you observe in inflammatory breast cancer patient sample. And um, apart from that, we took it further because the lab also works on the COX to PG to inflammatory pathway. And nothing much was talked about between osteoprotegrin and COX to PG to pathway apart from with respect to bone. We also got interested into that and we found that the crosstalk between there is a possible crosstalk between osteoprotegrin, COX to PG to via the via FASN, which is also published in Onco Target uh, recently. And uh, this definitely this research definitely opened a lot of avenues for combinatorial treatment like targeting COX to PG2 with um uh, Celecoxa, which is already in clinical trial, and also you can target FASN with C75 or any other drug. You know, and nowadays, apart from like single therapy, combinatorial therapy is a lot more in bulk. And not just that, because osteoprotegrin gets secreted at very high levels, it can also be used as a easy biomarker for detection of the aggressiveness of the disease. So um, there are a lot of papers like, and uh, we also found that osteoprotegrin interacts with one of the receptors, it's a nucleolin, and our lab is also working on that, and we are expanding and trying to figure out more of this interacting network that goes on with osteoprotegrin and the other inflammatory pathways. So a lot more will be coming up from the lab, so if you're interested, go to PubMed, uh, you can look up with my name and Dr. Walia's name, or just type in osteoprotegrin, and uh, keep an eye out, because a lot more research is coming your way.